It's the final day of the 2022-2023 IHSA season as Bennett Academy takes the field one last time in the third place game of the 3A softball stage series. The Red Wings are coming off a semi-final loss to Lamont and now want to end their season on a high note taking on Charleston. The Lady Trojans make their first ever state appearance and would also love to end their season on a win. Lady Trojans get off on the right foot with a two-run RBI double from Clara Cox, and it's also the first time Charleston scores some runs in a state series after getting shut out the day prior. Bottom of the first, and Angelo Horsch is looking to get something rolling with a nice hit to center field that has two on for the Wings. However, Grace Babbage chops to Avery Beals at third base, and she just taps the bag to end the inning. To the third inning we go, and Mary-Kate Ritterbush also chops one, but thanks to a bounce and a bobble, she is safe. That was huge, and despite Nina Passari grounding out on a bunt, Addison Schrader overthrows at second badly, and Ritterbush turns on the Jets, turns the corner, and scores to get the wings on the board. Bridget Chapman is up next with two on, and she absolutely crushes this ball into left field, and coming home to score is Taylor Sconza, and this game is tied at two. Still in the third, and Babich gives Bennett the lead despite getting thrown out at first. An RBI is an RBI, no matter the circumstances. Lady Trojans respond as Kaylin Wilson pops up, but it drops perfectly for a single. However, good luck trying to outrun Babbage. She throws to Angela Horsch at second, and with the runner over slide, Horsch nabs her to retire the side. Charleston gets back up in the fifth inning with a fly ball from Blair Ritchie that nobody wants to catch, so Ritchie gets a double. Addison Schrader rewards Ritchie with the hit way out into center field, and this game is tied up at three, thanks to the RBI double by Schrader. Schrader can also make plays as a pitcher as she runs and dives to catch the short pop-up. Both defenses remained on lockdown mode even when a foul ball happens. Aaron Blair catches the pop-up and we go to extras. Beals gets it started with the bunt and turns on the afterburner to make it safely to first. Did I mention Babbage is still on the field? Well, this time she throws down perfectly to Horsch and tags out another base runner. Babbage, Horsch, and the rest of the wings are feeling it. Bottom of the frame and Horsch builds off the momentum with her third hit of the ball game and she happens to be the winning run at first. Now she's on third, and Gianna Cunningham flies her hit to left field, and the ball just gets down, and Horsch comes home to score, and the Red Wings win. Will G comes up big with the RBI, and Bennett Academy takes home the 3A third place spot after a 4-3 win. This is the Wings' second softball state trophy, both under Jerry Schilf. Going into extra innings was crazy I wasn't really expecting it but it's great having like all the pressure on you because I tend to do better under pressure so I'm just glad that glad that I could help out my team I'm really happy you know it's better than ending in a loss but I'm still really glad, glad that we were able to have this opportunity to go down the state going into that inning I actually had the mindset to do that because like I was the first batter <laughs> I was the first batter and I knew that I had to lead us off in that position so these kids have worked so hard they, they, they have a good time they want to have some fun but they've worked so hard and to bring this trophy back, especially when Ben Academy is considered one of the biggest athletic teams in this area. And we weren't in that territory. We're in that territory now. I'm extremely proud of like everyone. I feel like we've come so far, and like I don't think anybody expected us to come this far, and winning third place is the best feeling I could ever ask for, and I'm just so proud of like everyone, and I just I can't believe we made it this far. When you lose 10-0 the day before, and you know, you can't go to the state championship, and then you have this game for third and fourth place, you kind of like, some people may like be like, blowed off and say, oh, it doesn't like matter, it's not that important, but like, you know, I'm so proud of everyone who is so resilient, and I think that really shows something about our character as players and a team. 
I'm just going to miss the teammates. I'm going to miss the feeling of just winning with my best friends. And I'm just going to miss playing with everyone. I'm just going to miss like the experience of everything. I'm so freaking excited. Like it's going to be awesome. You know, we made it so far this year. I can't wait for what next year has in store for us. You know, we're all just going to get better and better. And I think honestly, we got a shot next year. We got it next year. So.